This is an example application called ABC Accumulated Monthly Sales, and it's a way of rolling up your every month sales. That's what's there in the uh, pink color. And But you want to see it total the first month plus the second plus the third and the fourth and to get a grand total for this as you uh, continue through the year. So how do we do that? Each month has a posting, $88, $61. And you can see 88 plus 61 is 169. And it just continues on like that until you get to the top of the year, which is down here, uh, 1218. There is a way to do that using a relationship and summarizing the information by year. So we've added a table, parental table, and changed the key field to the year. Let's go up under year and take a look at what that looks like. So every year we have uh, just the year itself, 2014. And if we edit this record, you'll see that uh, this is the only field that's in this table. But it serves as a purpose to look down underneath these, roll up the related year to this, and then pass the information back down about every single month. So let's take a, uh, a look at the relationship that, that uh, exists between these. So we're going to look at just the primary one because I did a previous year too just for the heck of it, but the only the current year is necessary. So here we have on this side simply the field that says 2014 or 2016. And we said this is a numeric number. And you can see it's over here as a numeric key field. Over here, the reference field uh, here well, um, is definitely part of the same uh, year here. If I click into current year, you'll see it's actually a formula. We've changed this from a regular reference field. We've said, take the, 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 whatever the date of the monthly post, tell me what year it is. Oh, it's 2014. Then this is, will produce an automatic link to whichever year we happen to be linked to. So let's go down into monthly orders for a second, and we'll look at the January one for 2014. Once again, this is the date of the post of the financials, and here is the posted amount for January of 2014. We've taken a formula here and said, tell me what month I am over here. And if you right click on this, you'll see that it's a simple formula. It says month. Look at the date. Tell me what month I am. And it goes through 1 through 12. We did the exact same thing for year. So um, where is year? Oh, here's year. Right click. Edit. Now this is the reference field, but we're using the formula to, to fill it out for us. So we don't actually have to make a selection as to which year this is rolling up to. This formula will do it for us. And notice it's the reference field for that relationship. So that will automatically connect us to our related year that we happen to be posting our numbers in. So here's our posted amount. And you can see right now it says accumulated. So uh, what are these values down here? Well, let's first take a look at this one. Right click and edit. So we look at this and we say, wow, where do all these fields, Jan, Jan and Feb, Jan and Feb and Mar, where do these come from based upon the year? So it says if, if we're in year one, which we are, excuse me, month one, just use the value of January. But if we're in February, then also bring the January and February together. And so consequently, if you're in December, you're going to have the whole year. Let's go back just for a second. So uh, we can total these values up here so they're here. But how did they get here in the first place? Well, because this is uh, the year 2014, everything that rolls up into 2014 we want to pull it up only by month. Well, how do we know them by month? We know them by this number that we're creating here. So I'm going to go into settings and take a look at that relationship. On the um, And we're going to look at the current year. So down here is where the monthly numbers are posted. We summarize them up and say, only show me January, only show me February, only show me March. Remember, it's only for the related year we're in. So it's uh, it's a pretty simple uh, summary field. It says, show me the total amount where the month is equal to one. So the 
the physical part of this is you have to create 12 of these. You get to create 12 of these that summarize up. So guess what? When you get into the year, and let's go look at the year just for a second, you'll see when we look at the year, and we'll look at this one again, we have summarized up what the value is if we were in January. What is the value in February? What is the value in March and April and May? And what we've done is we've created the formula here that says January and February, February, and January, February, March, and it continues down here. Why are we doing that? Well, we're creating them so that we have them to work with. We're now going to pass these, num these numbers that we've built up here, one for each month, uh, and pass them back to the child or back down into the monthly order. So what we've done is we've taken this, we first rolled them up, January, February, March, totaled them up above, and then passed them back down through the relationship. And we have January, January, and Feb, January, February. And then what we have is when we're looking at the January record, we say, if we are January, just do this. And then it calculates which one of these numbers it should use for its respective month. So let's go take a look at that. We look at the monthly order and you'll see uh, an accumulated value here. Let's move to uh, another one here. I'm moving up to March here. We're in April now and you see the month of four. So I use this in the calculation because this accumulated value needs to say, if I'm a four, do the following. So I'm gonna right click, edit the field, and you'll see the, this. We're using a case statement to look at the month that we're in. This month tells us the current month of the record that's created. And four is this, so it says use this as the value when displaying what the accumulated sales number is. And so consequently, what we have then is a, a record of monthly orders right here and the ability to say, I'm a February, so give me January and February. I'm a March, give me January, February, and March, and so forth, and so forth. And now we get this larger number here. What that allows us to do is create reports that allow us to trend over time. So we have the actual value of January, February, and March. It rolls up and it's totaled together with January, February, January, February, and March. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it resets with a new year, which flips up into 2015. And then, of course, we have 2016 down below here. So that's a, uh, a method. Uh, let's take a look at the report and how we put this together. We happen to use a, a, uh, an area one because it seemed to, to show that pretty well. You could use a line if you wish to. But uh, one of, so we're actually looking, the x-axis down at the bottom here is going to be by month. And I said, give us the date by month. So it's giving us that resolution. And the y-axis has two different items. We have accumulated dollars and amount dollars. The accumulated dollars is only going to give us the accumulated dollars that is referenced with the equivalent of that month. And so that allows us to create reports like accumulated sales over time.